Today we'll be looking at some commands as well as some programs for cleaning up your drive on Linux because everyone needs to do some cleaning. And the first ones we're going to look at are simple commands. If you have been uninstalling and installing a lot of flat packs, you might have I've installed a few extra packages that you don't need anymore. So to clean them out, you do a flat pack, unins, unins, install unused and that and this will be like oh there's things that aren't being used so you can go and proceed and go and remove them and then there you clean up some unused some orphan packages for a flat pack another one that's one's gen 2 specific is you do a merge let's do that step clean if you emerge dep clean, it will go and find dependencies that could get removed because they're not being used for anything. And recently I did something relating to Haskell. So I have all these Haskell libraries and other stuff installed, which I don't need anymore. So we're going to emerge these and maybe I'll clean up. There we go. The next program we'll look at is called Sweeper. It is a KDE application, but it can go and clean up things. You can select stuff you want to clean up or whatever. You clear out cookies. However, it's not that powerful. Which brings us to the next program, which is called Bleachbit, which has way more options to choose from so you can really clean things so let's see let's do temporary files uh, all right let's not do that uh and it'll even list out programs you have installed and how to clean them up so you can see under each option you can see what each option does Let's get rid of temporary files, maybe old logs, then maybe broken desktop files. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, so we'll save some megabytes from that, but because of the Firefox, Let's see what things to delete up. Delete and I can clear up cache history. Get rid of the swamp files. Clear, clear up bash history. Unfortunately, it doesn't do other shells. But so if we were to go and clean. clean. Yeah, because I don't want to clear up logs yet, but maybe... Nah. So that was Bleach Bit. Now the last program we're going to look at today is called... Cal... Cal... Chavka, the, the, the W is a V in Polish, I believe, or whatever, which means hiccup. And it also can clean up things to go look included in excluded directories. So you choose what you include and exclude because you don't want to mess with proc. You can do where the search, uh, search here. Remove. Mm. Let's see. So you 
you do a quick search and it'll find everything. I'll find all sorts of duplicate files here that can be deleted. Then you go to empty directories, which you can search for those. You can see, which doesn't make sense because there's nothing there. So you're like, oh yeah, I need to clear up some directories that don't have anything in them. Use the big files, they'll find all the very large files. Here, it points out it's just a bunch of video files. Which makes sense. Empty files. Or not. Temporary files. All of the stuff that can be cleared or whatever, like backups, cache, similar images, which you can do, which probably take a lot more. Oh, okay. And similar videos. Wonderful find the difference between like the edited videos and the source videos. Oh yeah, that th those are the same video. Music duplicates. I don't think I have any music thrown in. I don't even know where this is. Oh, I think it's uh in mine clone. Yeah, mine clone. Then there's invalid sim links. Which, some days I'm not sure if I should delete them. Broken files, which I don't think I have any because this is, system is still pretty recent. Interesting, some Steam stuff is apparently broken. Add extensions. Oh, um, I'm kind of suspicious of that option. But we could go back to the duplicate files since this doesn't really need to be there since it doesn't quite work. Uh, let's delete it. Let's hit OK. So it went and deleted it, I think. Oh, it failed to delete because it's not it's trying to delete something in root, which it doesn't have permission to do. And so that was that was three programs and some commands you could use in order to clean up your Linux system. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video, dislike. You can also follow me on Mastodon, and have a nice day.